Hi friends, this is Bethany. Welcome back to Joyful Habits. Today we're going to be making some teacups for the bird. Well, we're not making teacups. We're going to take some teacups and make something for the birds. We're going to be making two types of bird feeders and a bird bath today. Using two teacups I found from a thrift store, I'm going to show you three things you can do with them. Two things I really love are teacups and cute cottage gardens. So I thought, why don't we make something for the garden out of a teacup? Both of these teacups I found at a thrift store for $6 and they do have quite a few imperfections. There's a little crack in one of the handles and a few other marks, but I figured that was perfect since I'm going to be putting them outside anyway. I love that both of these are bright white with just a little bit of floral and I can't wait to turn them into something else. So all you're going to need for this is whatever teacup you have and I'm using this E6000 glue. I've never used this before but I was told it would be a good option for this in terms of being waterproof and just standing the test of time. For this first bird feeder, I'm tipping the teacup on its side so that way the bird seed looks like it's sort of spilling out. So just figure out how you want the teacup to look and where exactly you want it on the plate. And then put a straight line of glue very carefully. Do not get this stuff on your hands. Believe me, I did. It took a long time to get it off. And then you just carefully place it on its side, give it a firm push, and I let these dry for 24 to 48 hours just to make sure they were really set before I put them outside. Now our second teacup, we're not tipping on its side, we're just going to keep it upright on its saucer. So again, using that glue, I just put a bunch on the plate and then put the teacup on the plate. So in order to hang this first teacup, we are just going to tie some string to the handle of the teacup, and that's that. I did make sure to tie it on both ends of the handle, if that makes sense, and that way the teacup, while it's hanging, is a little more sturdy and not spinning like crazy. Again, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> you can see it in the video. And then we just place a few handfuls of bird seed into our teacup, and there we go. I love how this looks. It looks like it's spilling out of the teacup. I just love teacups, and yeah, I think this is, I think this turned out great, and it was super easy. Now you could definitely jazz this up with different types of teacups, maybe using something other than plain string. I was definitely going for a very um, simple look, but as I pretty much say in all my videos, the possibilities are endless. Now for the second one, I'm going to show you two things we could do with it. The first one being, if you want it to be a bird feeder that you're hanging from a tree, I'm going to take three pieces of string that are the same length, tie them all in a knot on one end, glue that knot to the bottom, and then pull the rest of the string up to the top and tie those in a knot, and then you can hang it. And you'll see here by having the three strings, it just makes it a lot more stable, keeps it even, keeps it from tipping. But again, I would glue the string to the bottom. I wouldn't just tie the knot and call it a day because it could shift around, and especially if you get a really windy day or a really heavy bird <laughs> lands on it or something. You just want to make sure it's really sturdy. The second thing we can do with it is make it a, I don't even know what to call this, but the, I guess the second thing you can do with it is instead of hanging it, you can just place it. So what I did is I got a branch from the yard, okay, if I'm being honest, my husband did, and he cut a, a flat side for me and then he kind of made the other edge pointed so I could put it in the ground. But you put it in the ground like a stake 
and then you glue the teacup to the top of the branch, the part that's flat. And that way it can just kind of sit there. And I thought this would be really pretty if you had like a huge flower bed of wildflowers or something similar and you just had all these teacups kind of placed in your flower bed. You could fill them with bird seed or a little bit of water to be a like a bird bath or just fill them with nothing and just have them as a decoration. So there are three versions of a teacup bird feeder or bird bath, whichever you prefer, that you can make for your birdie friends, um, wherever you live, whatever bird friends you may have. I love this look though, it's very much, you know, cottage core, kind of cottage garden. Uh, it's just really cute, I love it, I really love it. and I. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled at my local thrift stores for more teacups because I really want to make more of these. Well my friends, thank you so much for being here today. I had a great time. I've had this idea for a long time. So happy I finally got around to it. And I hope today's video has inspired you uh, to go out and find some teacups and make your own creations. Well, with that being said, my name is Bethany, and this is Joyful Habits, where we daydream and add a touch of whimsy to the ordinary. I'll see you very soon in my next video, and until then, keep smiling. Bye, friends!